Today I'm going to be teaching you how to hide a base underground. Well, at least part of it. This technique is perfect for solos or even to expand later for a group. With an incredibly low starting cost and an upkeep that won't leave you farming all day, you can expand at your leisure. It's usually pretty obvious where loot and TC are in a base. However, not so when it's underground. While this idea can be used to create a base of any shape or size, for demo purposes, I'm going to be showing you a basic honeycomb 2x1. This is going to leave raiders incredibly frustrated and is likely going to let you keep the base as well as the loot. This base is going to be taking advantage of what is normally undesirable land and rust. That is some of the most uneven terrain that can often make building complicated or not work at all. The main thing we're looking for is a nice dip. The rest doesn't really matter too much as long as it begins to elevate fairly quickly. Of course, with a larger dip in the landscape, you could easily create yourself a much larger underground area. We are going to want to find a rather tight dip. Getting into the build, once you found yourself a nice little dip in the landscape, you're going to go ahead and place your first foundation. Now, this foundation basically clips entirely into the ground with minimal space available that you're going to use to place a TC later, and that's basically all the space you need. After that, kind of just make sure that you can build around it, and then you're good to go start building. Keep everything for twig for now, just in case we have any issues. And we're going to go ahead and place a raised triangle on any of the sides of this, but we're going to build out from here either four or six more triangles. Now, if you do four instead of six, it will work fine, but you'll have a smaller gap and it will be harder to loot through later, which is not advisable. After killing this pig, we're gonna go ahead and destroy these triangles that we just placed, leaving only the last one on the end. Then from this square, we're gonna carefully build back. And again, here, you don't wanna let it clip to that square down there. So instead, what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at this edge and just as it switches, we're going to go ahead and place it. That ensures that it clips to this foundation that we've just placed and is going to help reduce any issues. Once that's done, we're going to go ahead and build two half walls. And it's very important that you do these two half walls now, as if you do them later, you might run into issues. As you can see, you can already see that I've created a gap. Because I am using the double gap, it is a lot easier to see. Now keep in mind that could make it a problem and more visible for raiders, so you may want to use the single gap instead. Once that's done, all that's left to do is place these two roof pieces, making sure that again, it doesn't connect to this roof piece, but instead connects to this wall. So we're gonna use the same technique and just over here on the wall, as it switches from one side to the other, we're gonna make sure to place it just as it goes over. By doing so, we've ensured that we've not connected these two pieces, but you are gonna have a hard time seeing that right away. Once you upgrade it to stone, however, it becomes pretty clear that we've created ourselves a little gap. At this point, I would go ahead and upgrade all of these pieces to stone, as they are the main fundamentals of your base. Aside from that, we're going to go ahead and place another low foundation here, which again, only one side has to have low foundation, and I would recommend picking the side that is the least visible, because you want it to blend in and not be noticeable that we're using different heights. Ultimately, if you have a better dip, it will camouflage the base a lot better and become a lot less visible. Simply close this area in as you would with any standard honeycomb, and then come over to this side here. On this side, we're going to create a raised triangle here by connecting it off of our already half-raised foundation. Then building back off of that, you can see that we can build all the way up even though we shouldn't be able to. This is basically going to reduce the upkeep costs by having less building pieces and also close that area in. If you would prefer, you could do a low foundation with walls if you feel that makes it more secure, but I like the way this blends in. You'll notice here we can't place the wall all the way up because it does only let you go up half. So first we're going to go ahead and place the one at the back. And that's going to almost seal in the base. Then coming here, you're going to want to spawn yourself in a TC and a bag. Uh, of course, you'll probably not be able to actually spawn it in, but uh, get it get it somehow, and then you can go ahead and place it. It doesn't matter where you place it, it just has to be on the foundation, and honestly, I won't let you place it anywhere else. And then get a bag down here. Now, sometimes you have to fight with it uh, quite a bit, um, because it is uneven terrain, and there is the possibility you're not going to be able to place it at all. If that happens, you, you might want to cry a little bit about it and then uh, give up, I don't know, start your base over. Um, 
There we go. I didn't have to destroy the TC after all. But anyways, once you get that placed, you're going to go ahead and place your TC. Lock it up. And we can worry about boxes later. But if you have the boxes, at least placing one right here as a drop box for now is incredibly valuable. Uh, actually, that's not going to quite work because you do want it to go a little bit further just so that it is accessible from up top. Just so that it is accessible from up top. And once you have that place, we're going to go ahead and stack our TC with all of our valuable materials and anything that we don't need for now. Then we're going to go ahead and lock this in. Starting off with a low foundation because it won't let us go up two, we're then going to build up from that one and build back from that one. Finally, if we don't have anything left to do down there, we're going to lock this up. I do, however, recommend slapping a lock on this box first, as that's going to prevent people who don't have access from actually looting that. As well, at any point, you could gift this bag to any of your teammates to have them spawn down here and access everything down there. Once that's all sealed up, you can go ahead and slap a door wherever you'd like. And of course, just build yourself a nice little base. Now, because we're not actually honeycombing, you could actually just leave all this space open, or you could actually honeycomb it up here and just really confuse the raiders. Ultimately, from there, it is your choice how you would like to build it, and there are many options. You don't even have to stick with the 2x1 configuration. Though I do recommend something similar to this, just to really maximize your space. You could slap yourselves doors here, here, and here, throw your furnaces back here, maybe a couple loot boxes, and some more loot here just to confuse some raiders. The only other thing that's important is this spot has to be a double doorway. If you place a single doorway, it will actually cover the frame down here, and it won't work properly. However, switching to a double door frame, you'll notice that that area stays open, which allows you the ability to still pass through and loot to the bottom floor. Now you'll notice sometimes it pops open, but you can't actually loot it. To fix that, you're going to want to keep moving your mouse as it doesn't actually work right away on the first try, and you might even want to consider moving side to side while looking through it. There are a couple things that can help you loot a lot easier. First, by grabbing a seed, I'm told that sometimes the seed will just clip through a lot easier and give you that visible area. I personally don't like the seed method, but it does work for some people. Next is grabbing binoculars, a usually useless tool, however in this case gives you quick access to the box. The same can be done with any type of scope as it does bring you in more and give you quicker access. Again, make sure that box is looted as raiders will be able to loot it as well once they figure out what's going on. However, if you have a door here with a garage or a double door, most of the time they're not going to be thinking to look underground in this space and they'll be satisfied with the loot that they take up here, ultimately convincing themselves the TC is still in a wall and not worth getting to. If you enjoyed the video or learned anything today, don't forget to smash that like button. As well, if you have anything that you would change about the base, let me know down below in the comments. And of course, if you're looking for more content, tips, or tricks in the future, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications. Peace out, and good luck with your wipe.